ask a question of the night. Have you ever felt like you were running from things or you're just a runner in general? Um, you tend to hide from people or just don't want to be around people. Um, I'm kind of like that sometimes. Um, anyway, uh, whether you're a Christian or not, you get attacked. You know, like things happen. Um, you just feel like the, the world is just caving in on you. And you're always running. You're always running for that shelter. You know, I feel safe when I'm at home. Um, you know, I've got a roof over my head. Um, I don't know what it would be like to not have that, you know. But um, we're always looking for that perfect home, too, aren't we? <laughs> um, uh, my other my other shelter I run to is, you know, in my husband's arms because he's my shelter too. Um, but today I was reading um, about our heavenly dwelling. Okay, and it's in Second Corinthians chapter five, starting with verse one through ten. It says, "For <clears throat> we know that if the tent that is our earthly home is destroyed, we have a building from God." Um, a house not made with hands, um, eternal in the heavens. Okay, so that's good to know. Um, for in this tent we groan, longing to put on our heavenly dwelling, right? Um, if indeed by putting it on we may we may not be found naked. Okay, now this reminds me of the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve you know, sinned and they took the apple and ate, or not the apple, the fruit, the fruit and ate it. And they were like, ooh, we're naked. And it said the glory of the Lord left them. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I don't know about you, but if somebody walked in on me and I'd be like, ah, you know. <laughs> so nobody wants to be caught that way. Um, maybe some people don't care. I don't know. But um, anyway, you know, we have this need and this desire to cover, you know, to cover ourselves. And uh, me, I, you know, tend to want to hide. So it's kind of what I do. Um, <clears throat> for while we are still in this tent, we groan, being burdened. Not that we would be unclothed, but that we would be further clothed. So that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. He who has prepared us for this very thing is God. Um, who has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. So we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Amen. <laughs> um, so when... We are at home or away, we make it our aim to please him. For we must appear before judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. Okay, so, um, yeah, when um, walk by faith, not by sight. You know, when we're away from the body, we're present of the Lord. When we're in the body, we're away from the Lord, right? So you can get closer with the Lord by reading the Word. Um, um, I, you know, I read this and I was amazed because I was, I don't know what it is about me and funerals, but I was watching the Barbara Bush funeral and I had to take a shower and they read this verse right after I get out, and I'm like, ah, you know, like God is really speaking to me on this. Like, you know, Trish, I know you want to be with me. I know that you sometimes don't feel safe, but just trust me. You know, I'm your, your heavenly dwelling. I'm, and then I was thinking, I'm Psalms 91. He says, those who rest under the shelter of Almighty, you know, under His wings, you know, you'll be, you know, safe. From all the stuff, so all the bad things at least. Um, another thing I've noticed is, you know, I was thinking about, you know, my my grandma and my mother, late mother-in-law who passed away, and you know, I got to see them both before they passed away, and 
you know, with my mother-in-law, she would just say, I love you, I love you, you know, and she could barely breathe, you know, she was, her lung was collapsed and, and, you know, they put her on hospice and, um, we, you know, cause that's what she wanted. And, um, you know, her breath was going out, you know, and she was so sweet and, um, I got her to laugh one time <laughs> and, um, but her breath was going out, but each time you could see like this glory on her. Every time she'd say, I love you, I love you. And she'd look at each person individually and let them know that they were loved. And that was the most beautiful thing because she knew she was going to be with the, with the Lord, you know. And she was almost absent from the body. Um, it was sad for us, but, you know, the things that she said to me, I'll always remember. And also during the Barbara Bush funeral, um, they played He Walks With Me, He Talks With Me, and that was her song. So I was in tears this morning. Um, made me think of her, and I'm like, I really love that song. The You know, He Walks With Me, Talks With Me, Calls Me His Own in the Garden. So then um, I also thought about my grandma, you know, before she passed away, I went to see her, and her feet were cold, and I rubbed her feet, and, you know, she really liked it, and um, I was talking about Jesus, and she just kept saying, that's so beautiful, that's so beautiful, and you could just see this glow on her, you know, and, um, you know, she, she didn't say, she just kind of had this grace, you know, and she was always such a beautiful lady, anyway, um, then today, um, after, you know, I, I'm going through all this, you know, and thinking, wow, God, you're really trying to speak to me. I hear this song, and it's called Shelter. You are my shelter. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> God's really telling me, you know, he's my shelter. And um, here it is. In the valley of the shadow, where my plans turn to dust, when I'm walking through the unknown, in the waiting I will trust. That's faith. When the sky falls, when the floods come, when the rushing, rust, ah, rushing waters rise, my soul is worn and weary. I've got no place to hide. You won't let me go. Fortress for my soul, my helper. Oh, my shelter. I can't really sing. You're my hope, the anchor in the storm. Love unbreakable, my helper. You are my shelter. On the mountain, you surround me. My comfort and my song. Your promise is my refuge. This is a promise. His love is strong. You have raised me from the ashes. Set my feet on solid ground. I know you won't let me go. Fortress for my soul, my helper. You are my shelter. Hope, oh, don't laugh at me. <laughs> In the storm, you have unbreakable, my helper. You are my shelter. The truth, you are the breath inside of my lungs. Oh, strength and I am weak. The land that lifts me up. You are the way, you are the truth, you are the breath inside of my lungs. You give me strength when I am weak, you are the one who lifts me up. No, oh, you won't let me go. Thank you, Jesus. My shelter. You won't let me go. You just for my soul, my helper. You are my shelter. Hope, anchor in the storm. Unbreakable, my helper. You are my shelter. My hope, anchor in the storm. Love, unbreakable, my helper. You are my shelter. This hair in my face. Anyway, this is such a good song. 
He's our helper. He's our shelter. It's a promise. He's promising that this is going to happen. So I'm pretty happy about it. I just hope this blessed you. It blessed me. And, and just the part where it said, uh, the breath inside of my lungs, it made me think of my mother-in-law because out of her breath, she just said, I love you, I love you, I love you. So to everybody out there, I love you. God bless. Have a good night. Peace be with you. In Jesus' name, bye.